On March 23, 1909, former President Theodore Roosevelt led an expedition to Africa, intent on collecting specimens for a new natural history museum. Among the core members of the group outfitted by the Smithsonian Institution was Owego, New York native John Alden Loring. Loring, a naturalist, mammologist, and author, had worked extensively for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the Smithsonian Institution, and the Bureau of Biological Survey. During his year-long safari with Roosevelt, Loring was responsible for preserving the small mammals collected, having them shipped back to the Smithsonian for display. Throughout his distinguished career, Loring traveled across several continents and collected hundreds of specimens for scientific study. Today, the Smithsonian Institution holds Loring's personal papers and field books. John A. Loring passed away in 1947 and was buried in Owego's historic Evergreen Cemetery, where visitors can still pay their respects to this local legend along New York's path through history.